In 1980, the Israeli parliament passed a law declaring a united Jerusalem as the eternal capital of the State of Israel. Threatened by the Arab League with an oil embargo, national embassies in Jerusalem closed their doors. That same year, Christians from around the world gathered in Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles. Sensing the isolation of the Israeli people, the participants and leaders of this gathering decided to establish the International Christian Embassy in Jerusalem. The International Christian Embassy Jerusalem is since more than 30 years right here in Jerusalem to connect the global church with the nation of Israel. For many Jewish people throughout the centuries, the only face of Christianity, what they experienced, was the ugly face of anti-Semitism, of Christians persecuting the Jewish people wherever they found them. As Christian Embassy, we are here in Israel to show a new face of the church, a new face of Jesus Christ to the Jewish people. We are here to affirm to Israel and to the nation that God is a covenant-keeping God, that God is a God who didn't abandon His people, but that He is faithful to every single promise which He has made to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. What an amazing thought that when everyone was abandoning Israel, Christians stepped in and said, we will stand with Israel and we will have an embassy in Jerusalem. Already for more than 30 years, the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem is reaching out all over the land, from the north to the south, from the east to the west, to reach those people that are in need. And these people are, of course, the Jewish people who live in this land. But we've also been reaching out to the Christian Arab, to the Muslims, to the Bedouin and to the Druze that are part of the population of Israel. Our vision is to build relationships, to foster reconciliation, and to reach out with God's love by responding to the social needs that come across our desk every single day. Through the projects that we do, we hope to provide a better future for the people of Israel and to reach out with hope to those who need it most. With representation in more than 80 countries around the globe, the ICEJ is actively working to be the connection of the Christian Church worldwide to Israel. To say that we want to reach every country in the world, it's not just a saying, it's a mandate from God that we are to reach into every nation of the world, find those willing to represent their nation and stand with Israel in these days. It's prophetic, it's significant, and it's absolutely world-changing. Through our publications, TV programs, digital media platforms, and annual events such as the celebration of the Feast of Tabernacles, we are providing resources and opportunity for the church to connect and engage in being an active part of what God is doing today in the nation of Israel. You know, the truth is, the work of the ICJ is more important now than it's ever been. With Israel at the eye of the Middle East storm, we must stand with Israel and we must stand with the Jewish people to see God move in our generation right here in the land. It's so important to educate the church regarding Israel in the, uh, from, from the Word of God and in the Bible. There's a lot of theory among the Christians speaking about Israel and a lot of opinions, but we do have to go to the Word of God to, uh, with the revelation of the Holy Spirit actually, so the church can really understand that without the Jewish people and without Israel, there would be there wouldn't be any church, there wouldn't be any Bible, there wouldn't be any salvation. I want to personally invite you to find out more how you can connect yourself or your church with the nation of Israel. I look forward to hearing from you. To learn more about how you can connect with what God is doing today in Israel, visit our website at www.icej.tv.